the best teams are built around an agreement on the outcome, not on agreement on the next step. Number two, the leader has to keep asking whether they are able to suppress their egos, because that's part of the tension. And I was telling on the way over how uh, Hofton Mahler and Jim Grant came to me to see if I would be head of the task force. And they had two caveats. Uh, one, that I could never use the word coordination because UNICEF and WHO did not want to be coordinated by anyone. And number two, uh, could I agree to keep a lower profile than either one of them? <laughs> and so that's ego suppression, and it also tells you something about turf. So you have to keep asking yourself that question. Number three, because people still want turf, figure out how success comes in the movement towards that last mile rather than anything an individual is doing. So that you can feel successful because you're moving into uh, uh, that direction. I think you have to also come up with uh, uh, realistic goals uh, short of that last mile that uh, people uh, can agree to. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to be following the author of a book at the uh, School of Public Health where he's written about uh, church groups and global health. and. He has really some very good suggestions on humility, <laughs> the mistakes that we make. But I find myself disagreeing on his, he does not like the millennial goals and, and uh, uh, what we have had over the years in this country of the 10-year health goals and so forth, because he said, we don't reach them, and it destroys confidence that people have. Well, I'm going to take a contrary approach tomorrow, saying that in India, I used to go to the state meetings on the endemic states, and each month we would come up for to have objectives for the next month. We never once made it until the last month. Mm. But it always kept us trying for something just a little beyond what we were able to do. I'm also going to mention that the uh, millennial goals, all of this actually started at Emory in mm. 1978, mm. when we had the first meeting looking at the objectives for the nation for this country. Uh, Julie Richmond was Surgeon General, and Mike McGinnis was working in his office. And at Emory and um, Whitehall, one day, and then CDC the next day, we developed 220 objectives for 1990, 12 years later. And in 1990, we had achieved half of them. A quarter of them we had not achieved. A quarter of them we couldn't even measure. And so people said, what sloppy work? No, it's, it's all part of progressing and learning as you go and coming up with better objectives than for the next 10 years. And the process has continued since the 1990 objectives to 2000 to 2010, now 2020 that people are, are still working on. So I believe in having these interim uh, goals. The last thing I'll say is that leadership of a coalition requires both having some executive skills, knowing when to make a decision, and having a congressional skills when to get everybody on board.